was that noise? Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed.
There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. First, you've got to rescue the DARPA chief. Infiltrate the building in front. Look for some way to get in. What is it, Snake? Snake, remember what the Gaul said. 
The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. Surveillance camera? base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. That base must have some kind of ventil- so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. 
There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Got yourself a weapon. To use it, first hold down the R2 button to enter weapon mode. Then select the weapon you want with the directional button. After you've selected the weapon you want, let go of the R2 button to exit weapon mode. The weapon you selected should appear in your hand. To use the weapon, follow the directions displayed in the window. If you use the R1 button, you can equip your weapon more quickly. While you're barehanded, press the R1 button to equip the last weapon you used. Press the R1 button while you're holding a weapon to be barehanded again. Don't fire your gun needlessly or you might be discovered. If you had a gun with a suppressor, it would be a different story. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. 
You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shiado Moses Island was built at the beginning of this century. It was made only to temporarily store the nuclear warheads. Why? If they wanted to dispose of them, why wouldn't they just dismantle them right away? They cannot do that. You see, when you dismantle a warhead, you still have nuclear materials that must be stored. At this point, all of the nuclear material storage facilities are way past capacity. But they could not stop dismantling weapons while at the same time pushing Start 2. So you're telling me that this base was built so they could temporarily avoid being in conflict with Start 2? Most people think that we live in a safer world now. But with all the dismantled nuclear weapons and waste around, the threat of nuclear terrorism has increased tremendously. It's ironic, isn't it? What is it, Snake? I wish I could send you weapons through this codec instead of just data. That would be nice. I'm starting to feel like a thief already. Ransacking rooms, rifling through fallen enemies' pockets. But you have no choice, Snake. Maybe so, but I think I'm starting to develop kleptomania. I just keep putting things in my pocket.
sorry. The solar ton radar won't work in a narrow space. Too much harmonic resonance. The radio waves produce interference and we can't analyze the topographic data. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? Don't give up, Snake! Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you'll automatically go into intrusion mode. Press up on the directional button to go forward, and down to retreat backwards. You can also press right or left to face either direction. Advance while hiding yourself, pay attention to the enemy's actions, and make sure you're not discovered. But be careful. You can't attack while you're in intrusion mode either. And even if you go into intrusion mode while you're being chased, the enemy's grenades will still follow you. Snake, first you've got to find the DARPA chief. Look for clues. After the START II accord was signed on January 3rd, 1993, Russia and the U.S. reduced their strategic nuclear warheads to between 3,000 and 3,500 warheads each. They completely dismantled all of the ICBMs which contained MIRVs. As a result of that, there are over 15,000 dismantled nuclear warheads waiting to be disposed of. Press the action button to drop down. What is it, Snake? Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it.